TMZ just posted the article today, Thursday, September 15th of 2022, titled, Cardi B Takes Plea Deal and Strip Club Beatdown. And here's the thing, okay? This is an exclusive from TMZ. Make sure you click the thumbs up button. By clicking thumbs up, that was the trigger and stimulate the algorithm. More people see the video, click thumbs up right now. Make sure you leave a comment. If you think that Cardi B should serve time, say lock her up. If you think she shouldn't serve time, say let her go. That'll let me know which side you're on. Please say either side in the comment section. Are you team Cardi B? Uh, maybe your team Meat Magazine. Maybe your team nobody. I don't know, but leave a comment below letting me know what your opinion is. Here's what TMZ wrote. Click thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and choose all notifications. That's what TMZ wants you to do, allegedly. TMZ writes, Cardi B said, oh, okay, to a plea deal in her strip club beatdown case. And it's a pretty sweet one that keeps her out of jail. Cardi agreed to plead guilty to third degree assault and reckless endangerment, both misdemeanors. And her punishment is 15 days of community service. The legal system is a joke. That's me saying that. She showed up to court Thursday all decked out in white to accept the 11th hour plea deal. I don't even know what 11th hour means. Jury selection was set to begin Friday and the trial would have started on Monday, but that's off the table now. As we reported, Cardi was accused of ordering an attack on two strip club bartenders, Jade and Batty G, in August of 2018. Yes, over four years ago now. She allegedly thought Jade had slept with her man, Offset. Cardi was arrested and booked a month later for her alleged role in the strip club fight. If anybody has the mugshot, send it to me. As part of the plea, there's also an order of protection that requires Cardi to stay away from the women for three years. After her taking the plea deal, Cardi told us, quote, Part of growing up and maturing is being accountable for your actions. As a mother, it's a practice that I am trying to instill in my children. But the example starts with me. I've made some bad decisions in my past. Not afraid to face and own up to. End quote. She added, quote, These moments don't define me. Really, they don't define? These moments don't define me. And they are not reflective of who I am now. I'm looking forward to moving past this situation with my family and friends and getting back to the things I love most, music and my fans. The people that you cuss out all the times, really have a B, really stink for B, really you love your fans as much as you cuss them out, you're always arguing and fighting with them. If you call this love, then I hate to see what you do to your enemies. What do you do? Throw bottles at your enemies allegedly? I mean, what do you do to your enemies? Do you throw shoes at them allegedly? What do you do? I don't understand if this is how you, if this is how you treat your fans and you love so much, then how do you treat stink for B? No, but seriously, all jokes aside, I'm glad that Cardi only got 15 days of community service. I'm glad that she's not going to jail. All jokes and, and stupid stuff aside, Cardi, congratulations. Welcome home. Beautiful. You know, you were the finest girl at the Met Gala. You know, the Met Gala is like Kim Kardashian's Cinderella ball. You know, I don't know whether or not her car turns into a pumpkin at the end of the night, but when Kim Kardashian walks in there, you already know that she's going to run things. So, it, you know, it's the same thing year after year. You know, there's a lot of beautiful women there, but Kim Kardashian shuts down the show every single year. And honestly, it got tiring. Cardi B in 2022, I'm pretty sure it was this year, went up there to the Met Gala and she was the baddest one there. And that's no offense to all other beautiful female celebrities, but Cardi B was the most beautiful woman at the Met Gala. So that was her ball. I want to see more of that. Like whoever she worked with that day, whoever whoever her stylists were and everything, they're the truth. <laughs> but anyways, you know, but I, I'm glad that she's not in jail. She's too pretty to go to jail. I'm trying to tell you, like, she would not come home straight. Them lesbuns would get to her. But this is all my opinion. Make sure y'all click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications. So let me know you made it all the way until the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is welcome home. Why welcome home? Because she's not going away, but she did get 15 days of community service. I wonder where she's getting, listen, what she should do for community service is, you know, have to talk to me for 15 days. That's what they should, you know, send us her to. And I should be the charity in the community service, you know, because, you know, mentally handicapped people you know are people too so she should be talking to me and you know and then that way i could absorb some of that cardi energy one of the most beautiful women ever and you know and then that, and that way should be helping the needy because I, I must be pretty needy as, as much as i be grabbing the lotion when she pops up on my screen uh anyway shout out to cardi b the sexiest woman on earth I'll give it then what y'all got to say as of right now. And it changes from time to time. You know, different women take the with cut right now. For right now, Cardi B is the sexiest woman on earth. It is what it is. Y'all can hate all you want. And I'm glad that she's not going to jail. Just my personal opinion. But you might have, you might have a different opinion. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about it below.